So I recently upgraded to the 2020 iPad Pro and bought the Apple Magic Keyboard to go with it. And wow, I definitely think this is a must have accessory if you own an iPad Pro. What's up guys, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help you improve your health and productivity. If this is something of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So why is this magical and very expensive keyboard worth buying if you own an iPad Pro? Well, for me, it's three specific reasons. Reason number one is the build quality. This thing is solid in the hands. It has a little weight to it, it's got a little oomph in it, and it just feels like a professional high quality accessory, which I guess it should if it's $300, huh? And the keyboard itself actually feels like an actual keyboard with really good typing and keyboard travel. It's honestly an identical experience to when I use my MacBook Pro or my desktop Apple keyboard. Reason number two is the form factor. So not only is it sturdy, but it's also a great size. It's not too big, it's not too little, it's just right. But for real, it doesn't take up that much space, but my hands still feel like they're not cramped when I'm typing. It's just a perfect size. It's easy to travel around with, which I guess it doesn't matter now, but in the future when I do travel, it's gotta be super perfect. It fits easily into my laptop or iPad sleeve of my backpack, and it probably will be my go-to travel laptop companion moving forward. Reason number three is just the functionality of this accessory. When I say that Apple made the perfect accessory for the iPad Pro, they literally made the perfect accessory for the iPad Pro. And I say that because it just, works so well in terms of getting things done. Like if you pair your iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil, you are literally ready to go and you can tackle any task that you want to. One of the main features that I love about this is the fact that it has a backlit keyboard, which I have been wanting so badly because the keyboard folio didn't have it. So whether it was writing emails or YouTube scripts, it just was a pain to not be able to see it. And now the keyboard actually operates off of the ambient light around you so the iPad senses whatever light is around you and then the keyboard will adjust its brightness right then and there which is really really cool or you could set it to your own brightness which either way it's just super awesome and super useful to have and what I also like is the different angles that you could put the iPad in I use it really in two specific angles the first is the 90 degree and this is when I'm consuming content whether I'm watching a video on Netflix or watching a YouTube video and then when I wanna do any type of work or be productive, I'll put it into the 45 degree angle, and this is where I kinda of get into typing mode or if I'm editing photos. It's just the best kind of use that I think, it's almost like a laptop, so it feels a little bit more productive. And then lastly, I think it's super cool how they have the USB-C pass-through charging on the side because of the fact that now you can actually use the original USB-C port for something else, whether it's connecting a USB-C hub or let's say that you wanna connect headphones to it. It's just a perfect way of opening up the port. So this thing is now functioning almost like its own computer. And I think I might make a video of how I use my iPad Pro as a workflow. If you think that's something interesting to you, go ahead and put that in the comments below. Overall, I love this accessory and think Apple hit it out of the park with this one. To me, this is honestly one of the best accessories to an Apple product since the AirPods. And my final consensus is that you should definitely buy the new Magic Keyboard. I know it's expensive, but it is so, so worth it. Um, I definitely recommend it and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy using this thing. This thing's gotta be great for my workflow moving forward. Anyway, I hope this video was super helpful for you. Question of the day, do you think it is worth $350 to spend on the Magic Keyboard? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay healthy, stay productive, and I'll catch you later. Embrace the hype. Woo!